Thursdays. What day are we on? Thursday. And um, just mooching. I'm down on the farm, as you can see. Ponies in the background. And mad dogs running around. Uh, one of which will not shut up because she keeps barking. So I've had a bit of a rough week so far. Um, I've been, since my test on Thursday of last week, I've been having problems with my waterworks. I've been flooding and having accidents, which is not usually like me. I normally can manage it quite well. And um, I've been getting a lot of pain and spasming going on in my bladder. So um, yesterday I felt really sick, like I was going to vomit. And um, so my husband said, I think you're, got a water infection I think you need to go to the doctors I had like an emergency appointment with the doctors and she gave me some antibiotics because I've indeed got a, quite a nasty infection going on and then on top of that I've had this tooth a problem with this tooth um, it had a filling I had a filling in May uh, in that tooth and unfortunately it was quite close to the nerve and he did say he wasn't sure if the tooth would die or not and it has died so now I've got to have a root canal in that filling but it actually, uh, in the process of dying, etc., it ended up very inflamed and sore. So I had to have it drilled out and a dressing, an antibiotic dressing put in. And um, so I had all the pain with that and then it's been throbbing today for some reason. I'm not due to have anything done to it until I get back off because um, we're going to Hastings next week and not due to go to the dentist after that so I'm hoping it's just going to settle down and it'll stop throbbing I hope fingers crossed um so yeah that's been my week um so far not very exciting apart from that we had the thunderstorm which you've seen um I have spoken to my doctor about a problem that I have got at the moment um that I haven't really sort of spoken about and that's um, in my 20s I was diagnosed with a compulsive eating disorder um, I was quite um, bad at the time um, and I did have therapy and a counselling to sort it out and um, I think partly leave the horses alone you lot Shh. Oi. and I did have therapy and everything but um, I think because of all the stress that I've been going through with the medical staff, plus my daughter's not very well, my husband's not been very well, I think that um, it, the extra stress has sort of like triggered everything a bit and I've been compulsive eating again and um, I've been secret eating and it was like a really big deal to sort of admit that this was now becoming like an issue um, and I spoke to her about it yesterday so um, you know she was really um, proud of me that I had recognized that it was becoming a problem and that um, my coping skills were no longer working but um, she was saying you know I had therapy such a long time ago that um, things are a lot different now you know and they handle things in a lot different way and it might be that you know having new, uh, new therapy will give me some better coping skills so that I don't keep relapsing with my eating disorder problems um, but I put on a stone in the last year and I've always had issues with my weight anyway because I have a thyroid condition and my weight has sort of fluctuated and then with all my health issues that I've recently had and all the medication that they put me on for that um, I put on weight because of that as well so that was actually beyond my control but I know that this stone that I've recently put on is in my control um, so I need to, I need to have the therapy to help me get through it um, and um, also get control of my eating habits which um, so I'm planning it all for when I come back off Hast from Hastings because I don't want to sort of restrict myself whilst I'm away and um, I'm going to sort of like try and focus on getting he on healthier eating um, and also hopefully with the added benefits of um, <laughs> he's playing in the background so cute uh, and hopefully with the added um, therapy I'm hoping that that's going to help um, if there's any of you out there that have similar issues with compulsive eating I'd love to know your stories and things that you might have done to help you um, because I was starting to do things like I was eating in the car and not telling anybody um, you know secret e secret eating all the time and not saying anything um, which is you know obviously that's the whole point that's a whole secret thing um, but my husband and I are very similar. 
he has similar issues with food as well we both have like a really strong emotional connection to food and because we have such an emotional connection to food it is in when i say emotional connection it basically food is um our trigger no sorry emotions are our trigger to food so if we're stressed or upset or pissed off that's when we eat basically that's when we want to eat crap all the time and a compulsive um eating disorder is where someone is almost like addicted to the compulsion to eat food and it's kind of like um it's very similar um along the lines like um i mean i could go to something like overeating anonymous but i don't actually believe in the principles that they they set out in it which is why i've never done it and um so it's so low it's going so low yeah this is hello hello buddy I'm spirit. I'm very handsome. Uh -huh. My gorgeous boy, he is. It's like he loves the camera for some reason. Don't you? You love camera. He's sniffing my feet now. He's sniffing my feet. Go sniff your feet, mummy. <laughs> You're so gorgeous. Hello, gorgeous boy. <coughs> oh, I got the whole weekend off. We can actually do something together. It'd be nice. Anyway, um, yeah, so both me and my husband are very much similar. Um, people in that we have this connection to food um, and so it's something that really we need to get out of because um, he can focus and do really well as long as I am focused because otherwise we enable each other and um, because we enable each other we'll both eat shit instead of being good and whereas if I'm really strong and I say no we're not going to do it he's like okay I won't do it it's, it's weird he said it and even he says it's weird that he won't do it he said it's like because he likes the that i have the control about it and um are you loving sniffing my he's really sniffing my feet i don't know why my feet smell funky or something or weird do my feet smell weird dude <laughs> um so yeah <clears throat> so yeah we do have this like real um and trigger points are obviously stress and uh, um, worry and um, all those things and obviously I've got a bucket load of that at the moment so of course that's not helping um, but the doctor was I must say brilliant about it um, so yeah I'm waiting to find out what's going to happen with regards to that but you it, you're talking weeks because things do not turn fast very right around around here not at all Anyway, just thought I'd give you a quick hello and um, I hope you're all having a good week. Um, it's nearly weekend. I've actually got this weekend off because I do every other weekend. So I'm going to spend some time with my pony. And uh, I don't know what we're going to do, but I want to spend some time with him. Uh, maybe he'll have a bath because he's quite dirty. <laughs> um, anyway, I hope you're all having a great week and um, I shall speak to you soon. Bye.